Today, we're playing more Anno 1800, the city building simulation game where citizens consume way too many potatoes. Okay, a quick setup for the game. We're gonna do sandbox because we're not a loser and less guidance because we're not a noob. Now, everyone's favorite part of any video game, selecting your character. And I think for this playthrough, it's only appropriate to go with the Morgan Freeman lookalike. I mean, seriously, like this dude looks exactly like Morgan Freeman. So I guess this means our civilization will probably be built on knowledge and wisdom. Okay, so before we go destroying the environment, I think we need to rename our city to something more fitting. And I think Mr. Freeman would agree that eventually the city is going to become a big ball of black dust, otherwise known as a black hole. Speaking of destroying the environment, we need to chop down a ton of trees to make timber so we can build the slum houses for our farmers to live in. So let's go ahead and place down some slum houses to get our first residence to the island. And then once we build enough, we hit the age of agriculture. We won't be here long because we're heading straight towards the age of global warming. I'm not gonna lie, polluting one island in Anno 1800 is pretty fun, but polluting two islands is twice as fun. So let me go ahead and just put this trading post right here. Okay, so back to the main island. We need to overpopulate this island and in order to do that, we need more slums. So let's go ahead, deforest this area, and plop down some more farmhouses. Now, if you haven't played Anno 1800 yet, let me tell you, the amount of potatoes that are needed for your city is ludicrous. They're needed to make schnapps, which is alcohol that they drink, and it's an obscene amount of potatoes to keep your citizens happy. A fire broke out. <laughs> this is actually bringing back some memories or some PTSDs coming up because in my last Anno video, I built a huge mega city using zero fire stations and it was not fun. It was actually very painful. So having fire stations now is a godsend. Anyway, so the firefighters are going to put out this fire and we'll be on our way. All right, let's build the rest of these slum houses to finish out this section. And it looks like due to the extra farmhouses, we are yet again in need of more potatoes. So let's go ahead and build some more farms to fix that issue real quick. Because the last thing we want is for them to run out of schnapps. Okay, now that our first island has the bare necessities, let's go ahead and upgrade to tier two. And now we're officially a port town. So we're getting that much closer to industrialization, destroying in the environment. Oh, and I almost forgot more potato farms. Oh, look, the first news article's out. And in preparation, if there's any bad news, I will tweet out and badmouth the writer of these articles, okay? All right, because I will not be having fake news about my civilization affecting the way my citizens think. Luckily for us, it seems like it is all good and true news. And that's to thank Morgan Freeman because I believe he knows all that is in the universe. Now that the black hole has a solid foundation, it is time to really expand and grow this population so we can increase our income and make more potatoes. God dang it. After a few minutes, I have finally finished my bread production layout. I personally think it looks pretty good, but I'm sure some of you in the comment section will tell me it's ugly. And if you do that, you're probably gonna hurt my feelings. But anyways, we had to build this because our citizens are so needy and apparently they needed another item to become happy. Just out of the blue, We're like, hey, we need bread to be happy now. So there you go, citizens, here's your bread. Ah, finally, one of my favorite moments. We are finally going to mine iron, produce charcoal, make steel provide jobs, and more importantly, suffocate our farmers with a huge cloud of black smoke. Morgan Freeman welcomes you to the black hole. All right, now our citizens need yet another resource. This time they need more alcohol to drink because apparently all the potatoes we make for schnapps isn't enough anymore. We have to make beer. So back on the second island, I am creating a buttload of hops farms that we will ship over to the main island. It is on this island that we will set up beer production, produce the beer, and hand it out to our already drunk citizens. So while we wait on the hops to make its way over to the main island or the black hole, let's go ahead and finish up upgrading the front section to tier two housing, which is the workers, thus creating more income and more needy citizens. A fire broke out. So literally just now, the iron mine exploded and caught everything next to it on fire. So I had to build a fire station and they are currently en route to hopefully put out this fire because we just put all this stuff up. It would suck to lose it and have to rebuild it. And I swear, these freaking firefighters are slow. They have no sense of urgency. It's so ridiculous. Like you're staring at a blazing fire and you're like going for a stroll down the park or something. Come on, brother, pick it up. After a three hour stroll in the woods, the firefighter has 
has finally decided to pull out his big hose and spray down this fire. Now, I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned to you guys how much potatoes this island needs, right? All jokes aside, seriously, I need to put more freaking farms down because we're running out of schnapps. So more potato farms it is. Okay. Icy Mike Potato Incorporated has now expanded to a second batch of farms courtesy of Morgan Freeman. We're going to go ahead and permanently place these buildings and start handing out the schnapps to all our slum lords or aka farmers and hopefully they'll be happy for a bit so i just finished upgrading the front section of the black hole island to all of tier 2 housing but now we're going to be short on farmers so we're going to need to build more slums which of course means more freaking potatoes and if you thought potatoes were the only thing that these citizens consume a lot of you're wrong they consume ridiculous amounts of fish too god dang it so now we have six fish factories on our second island and we will charter them over to the black hole so our slum lords will remain happy and obedient. Now that there's plenty of fish, worker clothes, and hopefully potatoes, let's go ahead and expand even further to build even a greater population to make more money and to help us get to the third tier and unlock artisans. Oh man, this pesky newspaper writer's at it again. Well, I know just the thing. Little fairy dust, a little fake article, and bam, you are happier than you think. And finally, we hit our first, I think, real milestone in this game. We hit the Age of Fine Craftsmanship. Uh, basically, that means we unlocked artisans because we went to a tier three house. So now things get even more complicated for a city. They become more needy, including needing things like canned food and rum because they already don't have enough alcohol and a stupid theater and a university. All they want is want, want, want. So with our newly unsatisfied artisans, we must now provide them with canned food. And to do canned food, you need a lot of stuff, including glass, which we haven't quite set up production for. But uh, what I'm doing right now is setting up the farms for the red chilies, which is on the second island, which is why we, we took it over in the first place. And then we will combine that with a glorious amount of beef cattle to make some yummy gula. And in turn, we will put that in cans and hand it out to the currently unhappy artisans. Okay, so with glass production out of the way, we're getting very close to canned food so we can go ahead and upgrade more tier two houses to tier three so we have more of these bowler hat wearing fools in our city man the amount of alcohol that these guys drink is ridiculous you could tell that anno 1800 was made by a german company because these fools drink a ton but seriously we needed more beer so we're producing more beer so i'm adding to the layout doing another section here hopefully this should last a while so i put christopher columbus on a boat sent him out and we're taking over this island here and the reason why is because it has access to fur which apparently artisans need fur coats so we don't want them to die from hypothermia in this climate and as if the black hole didn't have enough smog and global warming causing toxins in its air let's go ahead and add more iron mines because we need it for canned food i totally forgot well it's about that time, more potatoes. Even though we haven't built a lot more farmhouses, these suckers are still consuming ridiculous amounts of alcohol and therefore we must provide them with said potatoes to keep them happy. This is ridiculous. Please fix this, Anna. So I feel like the production chain for freaking canned food is long as heck. We are on the second to last step where we make the goulash or whatever it's called. So we're setting up the factories here to make that. And we need the same amount of goulash factories as we have cattle farms and red chili farms, which is quite a bit. I think it's eight. So we're going to build eight goulash factories and then we'll follow it up with some canned factories when we can do it. I mean, these citizens have to be wondering why people keep moving in, especially next to the freaking pollution that these factories are generating and they have to be questioning morgan freeman's judgment i mean for someone who knows so much about the universe he has to know that all these factories cannot be good for where they live and as if the pollution wasn't bad enough for the citizens who are probably going to die in the next five years, we also need to make sewing factories, which of course requires more iron. These poor, poor people. Morgan Freeman just threw them in the black hole with no regard. Okay, one or two things are going on in this city. Either one, Morgan Freeman's sexy voice has them all in a trance and they're totally oblivious to the amount of pollution that surrounds them. Or two, they're all alcoholics and they're always drunk to even notice it. And the reason why I think they're oblivious 
this is because they are currently holding a parade to celebrate Morgan Freeman. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Why are they happy? After that rager of a celebration they just had for Morgan Freeman, I had to figure out the root cause of their obliviousness. So I'm looking over at our farms and we have a crap ton of potatoes. Look at all these people out here farming potatoes. Every one of these potatoes contributes to schnapps, which is the alcohol of choice of the farmers. So the only reason why they would be okay with all of this pollution is to the fact that we are producing over 34,000 potatoes a day in order to keep them happy. Well, I'm gonna go let my head process all of this. Meanwhile, you guys can like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next video.